Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of SD Locks SCP Readings. This is Shaggy Dreadlocks. Today we're going to be reading SCP-3343 Beelzebub Item Number SCP-3343 Object Class Neutralized Special Containment Procedures Non-Applicable Special Containment Procedures Outdated as of January 6, 2018 SCP-3343 is to be kept in a modified small animal containment enclosure at Site-59. It is to be provided with one sliced apple as daily nutrition. At 11 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, SCP-3343 may be brought outside of its enclosure for up to 30 minutes to undergo a San Pietro event. As per the Ethics Committee ruling of March 23, 2017, Staff are advised to avoid direct interference with a San Pietro event, unless necessary. In the event of a containment breach, SCP-3343 can be coerced into recontainment through the use of a fly swatter. Note: While swatting will cause no harm to SCP-3343, it is theorized that the experience is personally humiliating for it. Description SCP-3343 is a male fruit fly, 20 centimeters in length. While the size is unusual for a fruit fly, no noticeable genetic difference between a tissue sample from SCP-3343 and an ordinary male fruit fly is present. SCP-3343 lacks wings, and in their place, wears a cape-like, white cotton robe of unknown origin. Attempts to remove the robe from SCP-3343 have been met with consistent failure. SCP-3343 displays human-like intelligence, having scored 34.7 on the Nysmith-Henderson Animal Sapiens Assessment. Though it is incapable of speech, SCP-3343 has shown nonverbal responses to English, German, and Latin. Common responses include nodding, bowing, and a gesture that appears to be a variant of the sign of the cross. Based on observation, testing, and pictogram-based interviews, SCP-3343 displays a level of cautious respect for the Foundation, answers to Your Holiness, and expresses reluctance to answer questions regarding its origin and abilities. Every night at 11 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time, SCP-3343 undergoes a San Pietro event, in which it enters what appears to be a meditative state for an average of 30 minutes, or longer, depending on whether or not any San Pietro events had to be cut short or missed entirely. During this state, a rapid, fluctuating array of bright white and red particles will spontaneously materialize and dematerialize in SCP-3343's line of sight. SCP-3343 is only willing to undergo this procedure in an open, silent space. Observation of the images associated with San Pietro events has been limited due to the rapid pace and fluctuation, but the majority of the particles are red and SCP-3343 has assured containment personnel on multiple occasions that these events are completely harmless to humans. Addendum High-speed camera observation of San Pietro events has given some insight into their nature. The particles in question resemble the deceased remains of fruit flies and their young. White flies display no change upon dematerialization. Red flies are accompanied by red text, such as Avaricia, Luxuria, Invidia, and Casticius, along with at least 27 other phrases that do not conform to any existing human language. These flies dematerialize in a small explosion. Update Neutralization On January 6, 2018, during a routine cleaning, 
SCP-3343 was removed from its enclosure and placed in a temporary container on the floor. Researcher Danvers accidentally stepped on the container. SCP-3343 was terminated in the accident and is now considered neutralized. Access. Additional documentation. Clearance level 4 required. Encryption key accepted. Welcome. There is a new email from Leslie Naismith, directed to the Overseer Council. The subject, regarding pest control. <sighs> Alright, so... I don't want to believe that Site-59's recent fly infestation is a product of SCP-3343's death, but the possibility can no longer be ignored. It wasn't until after January 6th that they started showing up. That and the fact that Researcher Danvers' body was discovered in the third floor men's room, covered in flies. <laughs> I have no idea how he managed to sit still long enough for a swarm of flies to slowly drain him of his bodily fluids drop by drop, but he appeared to be in a comfortable sitting position on the toilet when he was found. So far, I can only explain this tranquility with a de facto conjecture but it's as if he knew he had to be there. They're going after our computers, trying to break into the circuits. I'm not sure why or <laughs> what they think they can do, but to say that this is troubling would be putting it lightly. The point is, we need to bring in some better extermination equipment before this escalates. Call it jumping to conclusions, but they've got a good motive. <laughs> if I knew who killed my god, I'd be angry too. And that is it. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Do not forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, try to avoid stepping on any insect gods. And as always... Don't forget to check down in the description where I have a link to this author's page so you can read more of their content. Until next time.